Victor Bout, an arms dealer sentenced to 25 years in a U.S. prison, has reportedly been negotiating the sale of firearms to Iran-backed Houthi militants in Yemen after his release through a prisoner swap. The Wall Street Journal reported this, citing a European security official and other sources familiar with the matter. Bout, often referred to as the Merchant of Death, was released nearly two years ago following a high-profile prisoner exchange between the U.S. and Russia. According to the Wall Street Journal sources, Bout has since established contact with Iranian-backed Houthi militants in Yemen and is negotiating a deal to sell small arms, including AK-74 rifles valued at 10 million US dollars. While in prison, Bout had a portrait of Russian President Vladimir Putin on his cell wall and expressed strong support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. His release in December 2022 came after a swap with American basketball player Brittany Griner who had been convicted in Russia for alleged drug possession. Since his release, Bout has frequently appeared on Russian television offering commentary on Russian politics and criticism of the US. Russian media often cite him as an expert on arms trading. When Houthi emissaries went to Moscow in August to negotiate the purchase of 10 million US dollars worth of automatic weapons, they encountered a familiar face, the mustachioed Bout. Wall Street Journal reports, According to Wall Street Journal sources, the negotiations centered on the supply of AK-74 rifles with additional discussions about the sale of Cornet, anti-tank systems and anti-aircraft weapons. These arms deliveries could reportedly begin in October disguised as shipments of food products to the port of Hodaida, where Russia has already delivered grain. In the days since Israel intensified its campaign against Hezbollah in Lebanon, including the strike that killed the militant group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels have been quick to show they are an important player in the complex conflicts convulsing the Middle East. In a brazen attack, the Houthis fired a ballistic missile at Israel's main airport. It is expected that the Houthis will use the weapons bought from the Russians against Israel. Recall, Bout gained notoriety in 2005 when the US imposed sanctions on him for trading weapons in exchange for diamonds with former Liberian president and convicted war criminal, Charles Taylor. He was also accused by UN experts of violating international arms embargoes on Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2008, Bout was arrested in Thailand during a sting operation by U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration agents posing as Colombian rebels. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison, but served only 12 before his release in the 2022 prisoner exchange. <laughs> 